Hey all you bunnies and rabbits, today we are making some Tiger King cupcakes. Oh my goodness, I am sure so many of you have seen these series on Netflix and it is just insane. So I figured it was time to make some cupcakes. And also before we get started, did Carol kill her husband? What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> all right, let's get started. Okay, so first to bake the cupcakes, you wanna beat some butter and sugar with an electric mixer until it's pale and smooth. Add some vanilla extract, orange extract, and eggs one at a time, mixing with each addition. And I'll have all the ingredients and everything listed in the description box down below. In a separate bowl, combine some flour, baking soda, and salt. Add this to the batter in two additions, alternating with some sour cream. Divide the batter into two bowls and dye one bowl black and the other orange. And I will link the food coloring that I'm using down below. It's super potent and I use it in like basically every single video. So if you need some, I definitely recommend this kind. Then you wanna line a cupcake pan with some orange cupcake liners. And to make the tiger stripes, which is like the coolest part, um, you wanna place dollops of each color of batter into the cupcake pan, alternating between both colors and dolloping them right on top of each other so you don't want to swirl it, you don't want to kind of do like a marble kind of camo effect, just literally right on top of each other and then everything will smooth out during baking and you'll get beautiful stripes. Then bake the cupcakes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 to 20 minutes or until the skewer inserted into the centers comes out clean and then cool completely. To make the buttercream, beat the butter with an electric mixer until it's pale and fluffy. Add the vanilla extract and confectioner sugar one cup at a time, beating with each addition. Place about two tablespoons of buttercream in a small bowl and dye it blue. And then you wanna divide the remaining buttercream evenly into seven bowls and dye it peach, white, orange, yellow, black, gray, and brown. So first to make Joe Exotic, you wanna spread some peach buttercream all over the surface of the cupcake. Pipe Joe Exotic sideburns with some gray buttercream and bangs and bottom of his mullet with the yellow buttercream. And I'll have all the piping tips and info like that in the description box down below. I'm just omitting it in the video just to make it a lot easier to watch. Use two chocolate chips as his eyes. Then use the brown buttercream to pipe his handlebar mustache and eyebrows. Use the black buttercream to pipe his mouth, earrings, and his eyebrow ring that is about to fall off. Okay, Paddington, oh my goodness, that is Paddington. If you can hear the little growling in the background, when I film, it means it's time to play in his world. Next, to make Carol Baskin, first you wanna spread some peach buttercream all over the surface of the cupcake. Pipe Carol's wavy hair with some yellow buttercream and then use some flower sprinkles to create her flower crown. Chocolate chips for her eyes and a lip sprinkle for her mouth. To make the tiger cupcake, pipe orange buttercream stars all over the surface of the cupcake and this will make it look fluffy. Then with the same piping tip, you wanna pipe two ears with the orange buttercream just by slowly extending the piping bag away from the cupcake, which will help to form a triangle. Then pipe black stripes onto the cupcake with the black buttercream. Use two chocolate chips as the eyes and white buttercream as the tiger's cheeks. Then use some more black buttercream to create the tiger's nose. Next, to make Doc Antle, spread some peach buttercream all over the surface of the cupcake. Use a gray buttercream to pipe Doc Antle's ponytail and beard slash mustache. I don't know what to call that. Then use two chocolate chips as his eyes and some black buttercream as his mouth and earrings. To create the tiger stripe cupcake, which I think is super cool, spread some white, yellow, and orange buttercream onto a cupcake and smooth it with a spatula to create an ombre pattern. Pipe tiger stripes onto the cupcake and gently sponge them with a spatula. Then pipe with blue buttercream 
Hey, all you cool cats and kittens, onto the cupcake and maybe space it better than I did because kittens was like kind of going off the cupcake. <laughs> And then last but not least, to make Jeff flow, you wanna spread some peach butter cream all over the surface of the cupcake. Use some gray butter cream to pipe Jeff Flo's sideburns. And I know this looks really weird, but don't worry. <laughs> Next, we're gonna get some black butter cream and you're gonna spread it onto the top of the cupcake to create Jeff Flo's bandana. So I don't usually use fondant in my videos. If I did, I would probably make like a hat, but it's tricky to do that just using butter cream, so we are just sticking with the bandana. I think that's fine. And then you wanna spread some white buttercream onto the bandana and smudge it a bit to create an illusion of a logo. Then use two chocolate chips as his eyes and some more buttercream for his beard and mustache. Then lastly, use some black buttercream as his smile and you are done! So thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you like this recipe and I hope that you are as amused as I am um, with these cupcakes. I think that they are so cute. It was tricky to decide like which cupcake to slice to show you guys on the inside. I did, I want it to be like less morbid and like not slice the tiger. So let me know in the comments, which cupcake would you eat first? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you guys next Tuesday for an all new recipe. Bye.